Now let's talk about sessions. Sessions are like cookies, but instead of storing the key value pairs on the user's computer, sessions are stored uh, on the server. Uh, you might ask if it's not on my computer, then how does it know if it's me? Uh, as you know, HTTP requests do not main state. So when you go to example.com and later you go to example.com slash new page, there is no way for the server to know that you are the same user. So with the help of sessions, the very first time user goes to that page, the website is stores something like a unique ID on user's computer. Then for the next request, if it finds that unique ID, it realizes that it's the same user. Otherwise it creates a new ID and it stores it on the user's computer to make sure it would recognize them in the next request. If you want to use the sessions, the very first thing that you should do is to start the session in the beginning of each page. Then you can store values, read them, update them or delete them. In order to start the session, you need to run the function session start, session uh, start. There's nothing you need to do at this point. Just run this function, PHP will do its thing and it will take care of a lot of things behind the scene for us. Now, uh, let's see how it works. I want, uh, let's create another page, example.php, new file example.php inside this example.php i need to start the session as well here and i will run the same function and now both of the files have session start at the beginning now let's see how we can uh, create the session and add the key value pairs we can do that with the super global variable session you can store a set of key value pairs like any array here i could say okay this is a test session and the value is test session this array which is a very special uh, variable in php is available on all the pages that have session starts so now if i go to example.com and get access to session i can easily get this uh, key which was test session i can come here and see uh, the value for this obviously i'm going to check if it exists so if is set then echo the value otherwise else echo it's not set yet okay now let's run our code now i need to go to my browser and from there if i go to the main page and run the code now the session has been set if i go to my example.php now i should be able to get the value of the session test session perfect now let's say I was looking for another session because I haven't set it yet. I would go to this part and I would go echo is not set yet. So let's see how it works. Refresh the page. I will get it's not set yet because as I said, I had set this session and not this session. So let's change it back to the first. Okay, we have set a session and we have been able to read it now let's see how we can update it in order to update it all i need to do is to run this session again i can update it here or i i can even update it in the other code for example if i can go here i can say okay test session test session updated and echo the value again to see if had if it has been updated Let's run the code again. If I go to example.php, test session updated, because here we have updated the session and then we have uh, echoed the value. And the last thing that we need to do is to delete the session. How can we delete the session? There are two ways to delete it. If you want to delete all the session, you can unset them all. You can do it by session. 
session on set it will remove all the session there is another function called session destroy session destroy it would also destroy all the session values but if you want to remove only one in our case for example if we want to remove this test session i would come here and i would come here and unset only that one value so i could say unset and then this key of this session variable onset is a function that I can use in other parts of my code as well this would remove a variable or a key from an array because session is an array I want to remove this key so I can easily use this onset function and now if I go to my example it's going to check for this test session and since it doesn't exist it's going to echo it's not set yet so let's see to example.php on our browser and check if it works at the moment it is working because I deleted the session in index.php so I should go to index.php first now it has run the code it has deleted the session now if I go back to example.php it's going to tell me it's not set yet that's it we have been able to create a session read from it update it and delete it and now this is the end of this section let's go to the next topic